New details tonight in the arrest of former Sheboygan Mayor Bob Ryan. Sunday, Keele police pulled Ryan over, suspecting he was drinking and driving. In this Fox 11 follow-up, we get a look at police dash cam video from the incident. Dash cam video from Keel police show a car swerving over the center line at Double X and Highway 67 close to midnight. The reason I'm stopping you today is officers me. pulled the vehicle over, suspecting a drunken driver. Well, you here? Behind the wheel was former Sheboygan <laughs> Mayor Bob Ryan. I do that myself. Yeah, I was. Mr. Ryan had glassy eyes and slurred speech, and he could smell alcohol. And then Mr. Ryan did admit to having consumed alcohol, so that was more than enough for the officer to suspect that he was possibly under the influence. Police asked Ryan to go through standard sobriety field tests, but say he refused. So they arrested him. Let's turn around. Let's hands behind your back for me. Ryan, who's publicly admitted his battle with alcohol, told police he had been drinking alone since 5 or 6 p.m. He said he was at the final lap, Rockville Bar, and Larry's Good Time Inn, and had four to five drinks. According to the police report, Ryan said Keel's mayor was at one of those bars and added he should have called him earlier. Can't call in favors all the time. After a stop at a hospital for a blood draw, Ryan was taken to the Manitowoc County Jail. On the way, you can hear him in the video making a lewd comment about one of the female arresting officers. I was hoping that other officer was going to take me to jail, man. I don't know her at all. It's a pretty hot one, too. Right? Ryan added he would commit a violation in Manitowoc just to be arrested by her. Police issued Ryan a traffic citation for OWI. His initial court appearance is scheduled for April 23rd. We possibly prevented a tragic accident by making the stop and making an arrest. And I don't care if it was Mr. Ryan or who it was. Um, if they're intoxicated, law enforcement's going to arrest them. We reached out to Ryan for comment on this story, but no one answered the door at his Sheboygan home, and our calls were not returned. Now, Ryan has had public problems with alcohol before. He was ordered to pay a $200 fine last month for disorderly conduct. That stemmed from a weekend drinking binge at an Elkhart Lake bar in 2011, where he was accused of groping a woman. Ryan lost a recall election last year after the drinking problems came to light.